Embryologists are reproductive scientists, which means we work with the sperm and egg of infertile couples who have difficulty conceiving. So what happens is the embryologist takes the sperm and the egg, fertilizes it, the re resulting embryos are then grown for a couple of days so that we can select the best embryos that we can put back into the patient. The most important trait of an embryologist would be their psychomotor skills because they're handling microscopic cells, eggs, embryos, and sperm, which is not visible to the human eye. We need to use microscopes and their hands-on skills need to be very, very good. Over and above that, they need to be very meticulous. They should have an eye for detail because we, we need to study the embryos thoroughly before we make a decision. The two key challenges, one is when the sperm count is very low, embryologists spend a lot of time looking for the best sperm to fertilize the egg. The other challenge is we do this procedure for embryo biopsy, you need to be highly skilled because we try to remove a couple of cells from the embryo to send it off for genetic testing. In the IVF lab, we try to mimic what goes on in the human body. Therefore, the lab is kept dim, the lights are dim, and the embryologists work in the dark. The other thing is, uh, embryos and eggs do not like any smells or fragrances. So embryologists don't wear um, perfume, artificial shave, deodorants, etc. because that would affect the eggs and embryos negatively. One of the biggest achievements is when we had a, a cancer patient who was uh, going to undergo chemotherapy, we got to freeze her ovarian tissue and we placed it in the biogenic tanks and after she completed her treatment, the ovarian tissue was warmed and it was put back into the patient by our surgeons and uh, she managed to conceive naturally. And I hear recently she had one more baby. So she had two babies and this is a great achievement.